Good morning, Bagel Blocks gang. I don't care if it's night for you, I don't care if it's morning, I don't care if it's the afternoon. Good morning. And today, we are going to be ranking every single boss that exists in Tower Defense X, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail and the title and when you click this video. So let's do it. And this is going to be based on, you know, how difficult they are, like Apex Predator, Kill Me, Difficult, is it mid, is it light work, or is it just like... You know, like, what are you even doing here? I kill you in two seconds. So, let's do this. Uh, the Vatican Mark I see is pretty mid. It's like, you still have to try, but it's not like you're spawn killing this guy. Um, the Vatican Mark IV is pretty mid as well. He can be annoying killing your warships, but it's not like a game changer. Calamity is pretty difficult with the spawns, you know, the, you don't want to deal with that. Eradicator Mark II's light work. If you don't have higher tier towers yet, he can still be pretty tough. But he's not like your spawn killing him. Uh, the Avatar is pretty light work as well. It just really depends though. Like, if you're not prepared for him, he can screw you over. But even then, you could just skip the wave, get some money, and then play something at the back to deal with him. I mean, then again, I usually play with warships, so maybe that changes this. But, anyways, uh, the Eradicator is pretty. I can't tell if he's like, I think he's pretty easy honestly, even spawn, even like starter people could kill him, so, you know, just put him there. He is annoying though, I will, I will tell you that, because he does have really good stuns and really good jamming, so he does have, he is really annoying, but he's not necessarily difficult, unless you're playing on like an impossible map. Anyway, uh, the errata dog is also like, if you got to that point in endless, he, he's not going to be the one killing you, like, you're never going to die to this thing, just get out of here. Well, I guess that's kind of how the avatar is too. It's just like, you don't have to try on them. Anyways, uh, Golden Apex Predator. That's not in the game. Uh, Golden Eradicated Mark I see is pretty difficult, a step above the Eradicated Mark I see. But if you got to that point in Endless, he's not going to be the one killing you, so you still have to try but he's not gonna kill you. Golden Eradicator Mark IV is, feels pretty much the same as the normal Eradicator Mark IV, just a bit more annoying, killing a few more warships. The Grass Apex Predator, that's not in the game either. Uh, okay, so explanation for this, you know how in Endless, there's sometimes like, they just send like an easy enemy that like 10 billion HP, uh, that's this guy. But I mean, you, as soon as you just place Cryoblaster, he's done real, so that's pretty easy. Uh, the Hunter is pretty light work, but he can kill stuff surprisingly sometimes. So, I mean, then again, oh, there is the fact that there is that Hunter on, like, wave 128 or something, where it's, like, really fast and it just, like, speeds through everything for some reason. But most of the time, he's pretty light work. Most of the time. I think this is Multiplier X. Multiplier X is difficult, definitely. Usually on the waves he spawns with, he multiplies a pretty hard boss. But it's balanced out to where it's like, it's not super bad. The mystery boss is pretty uh, light work, honestly. It, yeah, it's pretty light work, actually. Uh, okay, the normal Exo Santa is pretty light work as well. You probably still have to try. Nightmare Exo Santa. Okay, well this depends, because if you're doing it in endless mode, he's getting destroyed. But, I mean, we're assuming it's in his realm here, okay. The, uh, Nightmare Exo Santa is pretty mid then, honestly, and the difficulty of... Actually, it might have been more difficult, honestly. Yeah, okay, so re just remember, I'm making Nightmare Exo Santa here, because this is assuming it's in his own realm. Oh, but should I rank it like that? Yeah, I'll make it like that. Okay. Um, Nightmare Void. Nightmare Void. I hate the Nightmare Void. Okay. Like. Okay, I get that this Void Trader, but just imagine that's the Nightmare Void because you can't really differentiate from normal fight anyways. His corruption and his warship killing. Holy cow. And you can't stun him. Jesus, the Nightmare Void is one tough challenge. Apex Predator. Uh, normal. It's like, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Plague Doctor, yeah, Predator, yeah, Snow Predator, 
Sniper Predator is a bit harder actually because he does freeze towers like that. But I mean, on his own, he's not that good. You know what I mean? Uh, Revive Plague Doctor is pretty easy as well. Um, the uh, John Toilet MK19 X never was really hard. He's pretty. I mean. I'll put him at the same tier as like Vatican Mark II. He can be harder though. Like, I won't lie to you, he can be harder. By the way, this isn't an order. Like, I'm not saying Calamity is easier to beat than Nightmare Existent. Uh, actually, it kind of is. No, wait, no, it isn't. Wait, hold on. I'm twisting my words! I'm twisting my words! Just, this isn't an order! Like, okay. You probably get it. Uh, Void Epic Predator. You have to really try on that boss. Uh, the Void in general is just like, even if it's not the Nightmare one, he still does some. He still does some moves, and then we'll put that there. Does that look good? Alright then. Well, that's my ranking of every boss in the game. Peace out, guys. Have a good day.